Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm gonna try this Brimmer uh, Bistro. This is a grilled cheese tomato soup. It's tomato soup topped with croutons and cheddar cheese. Um, this is a frozen meal and it is microwavable. One soup um, is, it's, I'm sorry, it's 18 ounces or 510 grams, so there's two soups in the box. Uh, we bought these at Aldi. They were $3.99 that Brimmer is a, an Aldi brand. So one soup container is, um, one soup is 270 calories. If you eat the whole box, both soups, it's 540. And there's just the calories for one. I'm sorry, per serving and then per container. So it's still got both right there. So let's see how you fix these. So you can do this in the oven if you want to. There's the oven direction. Um, it says keep ready, keep frozen to ready to serve. Uh, remove all packaging. Ensure product reaches the max a minimum internal temperature of 165 degrees. There's the oven directions if you want. Uh, there's a quicker oven method where you microwave a little bit and um, and do the oven. And then we're going to do only the oven. So when heated in microwave oven, the cheese will become uh, mixed in the soup. So just know that it won't be sitting on top. Place one soup cheese on top in a microwave safe bowl. Um, heat on high for t three minutes. Stir and heat for another minute. I guess on the, in the oven you're going to... Uh, place one super cheese in an individual oven proof bowl. So you'd have to have your own bowl. So I'm wondering what these kind of look like. I have no clue. Oh, huh, it's literally a little puck. Make it a bowl. I wasn't expecting to need a bowl. Um, do I need to open this or is it going to give me a pull tab? There we go. Yeah, it's like a little frozen... Uh, disc of soup, tomato soup with the cheese. So in an oven, if you put this in a, some kind of oven bowl of some kind, I guess the it'll it's, it's just basically gonna cook just like it is. <laughs> there it is. So in the in the microwave, it's gonna melt, and then you're going to stir up the cheese inside of it and let it go again. So um, basically, you get two of those little hockey pucks inside here. So we're gonna do it. Um, Three minutes and then stir it. It doesn't say anything about covering it or anything like that. So, um, yeah, cheese on top. Yeah, so three and one. So I'll be back when it comes out of the microwave. Okay, so here it is, out of the microwave. I haven't given that final stir yet. You can see the cheese hunks. Um, just to let you know, save yourself some cleanup time. Put a paper towel over top of it when you first stick it in the oven. I don't care if it's got a big hockey puck of tomato soup or not, uh, put a paper towel over it because it will splatter everywhere inside your microwave. Top, sides, bottom, everywhere. So I had to spend about three minutes just wiping out all the soup before I could put it in for the last minute of the cooking time. So pick, cover it with paper towel. Um, some of the cheese that's on top as it's getting melted may stick to your paper towel that way, but um, unless you just want to clean up little specks of tomato soup everywhere in your microwave, cover it up so i'll uh, or put plastic wrap or something over top of it so i'll be back in just a second uh, to try this out hey i gave it a minute to cool off um i forgot the the firm pieces in here are croutons um of course they're not going to be crispy they're going to be mushy but um and they are they're kind of soft but here we go yeah those croutons are like soggy bread It's okay. No, it's not really okay. Hold on. I got a bite without the grouton. I don't know what kind of cheese that is. The tomato soup itself is just a very bland, very, very plain tomato soup. It doesn't have any seasonings. It's not, it's not very flavorful at all. The cheese is a little funky. And then the croutons are really mushy and they also have a seasoning on there that I'm not sure what it is and I don't necessarily like it. Um, at least the writing's big enough where I can read. It says cheddar cheese, um, but it doesn't taste like cheddar cheese. The croutons have, um, it doesn't really say any seasoning. There's, there's a seasoning in there and I don't know what it is that tastes a little funky. It doesn't mention anything weird, it just says, you know, um, there's a couple things they could have done differently. One, they could have given you a package of, a little bitty package of five or six little croutons for each one. 
that would have at least had a crispness to it. It would have added some crispy crispiness to this, the soup. It's not, as it is, it's all mushy and, and liquidy. Um, even the croutons are very, very mushy, wet bread like feel and stuff. Um, so that part's not good. The texture's not good at all. So they could have given you croutons separately. The tomato soup itself is not seasoned well. And what seasonings are there, just, they're kind of weird tasting. Uh, they're not good seasonings. Um, I would have rather just had pure, good, strong tomato soup and not have the funky seasonings that they use. This one for me is a two. I would not get this again. I'm not going to finish this bowl. Matter of fact, I'm going to dump it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't get this one again. The the tomato soup is just not good. And there's, I don't know. This if you like a really bland tomato soup with some a little bit of cheese and a like a funky cheese, um, you could try it out. But I I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I'd save your money and buy something else because Ollie has so many other things that are better. So uh, skip this one, buy something else. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.